Hi folks, if you are in the Hasselblad system, it can be a little bit confusing at first how best to manage the files. Natively in the camera, it's recording RAWs that are in the .3FR format, but there's another format, .FFF, which is commonly known as 3F. Now, the reason for that, it's a, I mean, the long story short version, as far as I understand it, is that the 3FR version has the maximum amount of data with loads and loads of color information so you can get the absolute most out of your Hasselblad files. But then doing all of the processing to maximize that data into findable, usable images, rather than taking up the, uh, the camera's processing power, you do that using focus. So what I wanted to show you here is my simple workflow that lets me take advantage of all of the data that the camera has to offer. It also saves file size and it lets me get all of the Hasselblad customized uh, corrections put onto my files. Now going from a 3FR to an FFF can save a lot of space on the Hasselblad X2D 100C. You're looking at like around 220 megabytes per image in the in-camera 3FR, but once you convert it, it can get down to 130 megabytes, and it really depends on what you've shot. I've also had some up to like 180, 190 megabytes, but still over hundreds of images, that space savings really helps. So there's kind of a multiple step process, but it really doesn't take too long. So first of all, I'm going to plug my Hasselblad in via USB-C directly to the computer. Then I'm gonna hold down the power button. Then it's asking me if I wanna connect as mass storage, so that's what I do. Of course, if you, were, if you want to, you could just take the CF Express Type-B out, plug it straight in via uh, and, uh, your card reader into the computer, that also works fine. I do it this way because on the last shoot I actually only recorded to the internal SSD and doing it this way the camera's getting charged whilst I'm actually dropping the files. So then I'm going to open up focus, make sure you're using the latest one, especially if you're using more recent cameras or lenses, it, then it's got the latest adjustments and everything in there. Then you're going to navigate to your save location, so for me that's here on the SSD. Just take a second for it to load because I have a lot of images on there. If you're in the Hasselblad system, check out my X2D setup guide. It takes you through everything that you need to know about this camera, how to initially set it up straight out of the box, goes through the complete menu system, explaining how to get the most out of the camera. Also takes you for a run through on the different lenses in the system. It'll help you get the most out of these highly sophisticated cameras so that you can use them for whatever style of photography you're into. I'll have a link for that one below. Okay, so here we are. I'm just going to select the ones that I want to import here because it's not all of them. I already have imported some of these already. So I was out doing a sunrise this morning and I was doing bracketed shots of different vantage points. So let's just get all of those images. Then I'm going to right click and select import. Now for the sake of this, I'll just put a folder on the desktop, but you can put this wherever you want. Choose, and then I'm having it just do the standard adjustments, da da da. Basically, as well as converting the file format, it's going to do a little bit of color magic on it. If there's any lens profile adjustments or vignetting adjustments, that kind of thing, depending on the settings that you've used and the equipment that you have, specifically the lens and the focal length, it will make those adjustments. And then it's going to save them out as FFF. So I hit import there and that's going to work its way through, depending on if you have five photos or 500 photos, it's gonna take a little minute so you can go off, make a cup of coffee, know that your camera's charging at the same time, and once they have processed, we'll come back in to do stage two. You can monitor your progress down there on the bottom left-hand corner. That tells you how many imports are waiting in the queue. Okay, we're down to the last few files now as that's counting its way down. All done. Now let's open that folder. Here we are, demo. That's got my 374 items in there. And you'll see now they are, there we go, 136 megabyte, 143, 148. So all around that size roughly, as opposed to where we were on the original files. 
the 3FR was 211, 212, that kind of size. So we're saving a good 40%. Now I'm going to bring up Lightroom and we're going to open the new files in there. Okay, so going to my desktop, here we are the demo files and you'll see they all show up there. Now the reason I like to do it this way, I still want to use Lightroom for my file management. You can of course go through and actually do editing in focus, but this way you get all of the adjustments, but you get them in with the rest of your collection. You can do all of your metadata tagging and that kind of thing. Um, and they're already in the FFF format. So just to recap, you're going to open your card or your SSD directly in focus, select import, you're converting it to FFF, save where you want the files to go, then importing from that folder into Lightroom. Then it's up to you if you want to keep the 3FR files or not. The FFF are fine to keep, you don't really need to keep both of them. Some people do because some people don't like to throw anything out, but the FFF is basically all you need to then go on and make your edits. Let me know if you have any questions. If you're in the system, then please do check out my expert setup guide and enjoy your Hasselblad. My X2D is the most enjoyable camera to shoot. It's just one of those ones that even if I'm working all week, if I get a day of personal time, it's kind of just calling me to pick it up and go shoot with it. It's so nice to have in the hand and yeah, that's kind of what it's all about at the end of the day. So thanks guys. I hope that was helpful.